What's going on everybody? I'm Steven and this is Bill Brothers. Today we're going to do a computer upgrade tutorial and I consider this stage one if you will. Uh, one of the easiest upgrades you can do but it's definitely a good starting point if you're trying to make an older computer faster. Now this computer is not an older computer. This is a Dell Precision 5520 which is actually pretty high end in the Dell lineup. But this what I'm teaching today applies to pretty much any laptop out there. So don't worry about the brand name, don't worry about the model name. Just know that pretty much everything I do will be exactly what you need to do. So let's get started. Today we're going to upgrade the memory. It's a very simple process. Most importantly, you need to make sure that you get the right kind of memory. And secondly, you need to make sure that your computer can support that memory. So the easiest, most simple way of doing this is there are many companies out there such as Crucial um, and a few others including Dell uh, that will allow you to put in the model number of the computer that you have. So for this we put in Dell Precision 5520 and it will say you have two slots, meaning two slots that you can put memory in and it can handle up to, and I believe this computer can handle 64 gigabytes of memory then you will need to check what's actually in here. Now you can do that through Dell if you are using a Dell. Um, you can just type in your service tag number which on a precision is right on the bottom. It just says service tag and it's um, I want to say like six digits uh, and it tells you exactly what the configuration is that you bought. Now if you have your receipt or you can look it up online that works too. Ultimately you need to know how many of those slots are you using and how much is in each one. Now let's say you don't want to go through digging all that up and you don't have a Dell so you don't have a service tag and you just want to know. Next option is super simple as well. You flip your computer over, you take all the screws out of the bottom. For this there's a bunch and they're actually a kind of frustrating type. They are a Torx bit which is a T5 which is tiny. Um, I recommend having a little tech kit like this. It has a bunch of different screwdriver heads in it. Um, but if you are working on this specific computer, you take all those out, they're all the same, except for under here, this little tab here, this is actually where your service tag is, but it has two Phillips head bolts. So if you try to pull it off without that, you could even bend your, your uh, cover here, and you don't want to do that because it'll be a real pain to get back on and sit the right way. Once you have that off, you'll know, you see no screws, you're just going to get under the edge of the metal. And again, this, is, this applies to all the different computer models, and you're just going to pop it off. You should not have anything attached. It is possible that a fan could be mounted to this, so don't rip it off really quick. Just make sure nothing's connected. If it is, you may have to unplug a fan, and then you can just set that off to the side. There's no, generally no electronics in there, so you don't need to worry about it being uh, you know, on anything. Of course, you want to make sure that you're not doing this on the carpet. You're not touching anything too crazy. We're not going to be touching much electronics tonight, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, as we look at this, you can see here, these are the two slots that this was that I was referring to. This computer comes with 16 gigabytes of memory from, from the factory. Now, you can get them loaded any way you want. So, for this one, un taking this memory out is as simple as pulling these two little tabs sideways, very lightly. So, all you do is you just put your fingers in there and just pull them very lightly and you'll see it pop up. And then once that happens, it just slides out. Now, what I was saying is if you don't want to look up the computer and figure out what, what it came with, you can actually just pop this out. And on here you will see what kind of memory it is. It says 16 gigabytes PC4 2400. That information is everything you need to buy. You could buy an additional one of these, which is what I would recommend. Um, so, And this is made by Samsung. So you could essentially write, type in Newegg or Amazon Samsung 16 gigabytes PC4 2400 and it will bring up exactly what this is. You could order another one and put it in there. Automatically you know that you can put another one in there because you have another slot right next to it. Now because it's a newer computer I know it can definitely handle 32 gigabytes but I would confirm on Crucial just to make sure how much what the max is because it is possible with an older computer that you could be maxed out at 16 and if you somehow do have a 16 gigabyte chip in there you would run into a problem. But putting it in is as, is as simple as 
If you notice here, there's two sections separated by a little plastic notch. That notch is not directly in the center, so you can't put this in wrong. You just have to make sure that the shorter side aligns with the shorter side on here. And you're going to put it in just like we did at a slant. So we're going to slide it in as a slant and make sure it's in all the way. You should not be able to see the, if you look on there, you see these little contacts. When you slide it in at an angle, you should no longer see them. As long as you don't see them, push down on the top and you'll hear it click. And you're done. That's as simple as it is. So you would do a second one here if you wanted to. I'm not actually upgrading it here, I was just showing. Um, and that's it. Now, this leads us to another option. What happens if you want to change out a fan or a battery? It's all the same. This battery is held in by a couple screws, maybe five screws, Phillips head, and a little cable. Um, and the fan is simply a couple screws and a little cable. It's, it's very simple. It is a lot harder when you go to, say, an LCD panel, the screen or something, because a lot of times you have to remove everything. And that, that can be real cumbersome when you're dealing with a laptop. But for the simple stuff right here, it's very simple. And once you have all this done, you put the panel back on, you screw it all back in, just turn it on, and right in your post, the first screen that comes up, it should tell you how much memory you have, and you should see that number corresponding to the number that you bought. That's as simple as it is, guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my other tech videos as well as our car build videos as I am going to just have more and more videos of both types coming out very soon. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends, guys. Until next time, see ya.